Hey, I'm Nick Flora. Hey guys, I'm JP Lawasida. I'm Mr. Carter Davis. And I'm playing Tacos and Tunes. What's going on guys? We are here at the Texas studio and I'm with Nick Flora. So Nick, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Uh, where are you from? What kind of music do you play? I grew up in Arkansas, but I've been living for the last 11 years in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, I don't know, genre is a weird, Weird thing. Uh, originally from Dallas, I do have a pretty eclectic uh, inspiration. I love like John Mayer, you know, old blues. Uh, I'm from North Texas, uh, born and raised here, and I play singer-songwriter music. So I just basically uh, expose myself in front of people legally. I don't ever know what to say. I, now I just say like folk pop with a little bit of alternative stuff thrown in. Right. Because I'm a child of the '90s. Aren't we all? Yeah. No. Well, no, no. You and I are though. No. <laughs> A lot of people aren't, as it turns out. A majority of people, yeah, as it turns out. I can out. reference Rugrats to people and get blank stares, so not everybody is. You were actually a part of the very first Tacos and Tunes. Not even like yeah. what we reference as Tacos and Tunes number one, but it was technically like show zero. It was like beta test. I, I don't want to set it up for anyone. You tell me what that experience was like. Well, we met, we played a show together, and I think you sort of pitched me the idea very shortly thereafter, and I was like, I don't, I don't have a reference point for this, but I like this guy. <laughs> So, I'll, sure, let's do it. And it was a show. I remember you being like, I don't know who's gonna show up, but people showed up. <laughs> yeah. And people Strangers. ate tacos. Strangers showed up from the yeah. internet. These people are amazing because they'll show up to a thing yeah. just to find out what it is. Yeah. I still, I genuinely, every time we get to play a show together, I go to a show, I think like I have to make up for the first one. Not because no it was way. a fun show, but no. specifically I remember, so I get you all set up and everything. I'm like, okay, check, does everything sound good? And I was, you were like, yeah. And I was like, okay. I was like, I guess I'm playing a show. <laughs> and now. I just walked away. And you literally on the mic go, uh, okay, I guess I'm not getting an introduction. Hey guys, I'm Nick Flora. <laughs> Overall, the creative scene in Dallas, how do you feel about that? Like, are you encouraged by it? You feel like we still have a long way to go? I would put the Dallas music scene as one of the top in the world. The undiscovered talent, uh, especially for the lack of like the infrastructure that a yeah. music city would need, yeah. it's booming. Dude, I'm so proud to be from around here. Yeah. And I see people move here, they're coming here instead of leaving and yeah. trying to pursue, pursue stuff. They're coming here to pursue stuff. and that. That's a good sign for yeah. the scene, and so. You do a lot of music in Spanish. You play in Spanish and sing in Spanish. Tell me a little bit about that decision. I really take a lot of influence from songwriting from old Mexican trios, like yeah. Los Panchos. Yes. I, grew up, I grew up listening to those guys. Piel Canela Besame mm -hmm. Mucho. Like those, like those arrangements I love and give me a lot of inspiration as far as like songwriting, composition. Yeah. Growing up, that music was like very dear to my heart, and I feel like it definitely resembles a part of who I am. So I definitely just want to keep it genuine and you know, include that kind of stuff yeah. in, in my sets. Just look into the camera. Black, obviously. Navy blue. Forest green. No, I take that back. I don't like that. I'm turquoise. <laughs> turquoise? All right. Or red. All right. So A color for sure. <laughs> <laughs> A black Stingray Corvette. Falcor from the NeverEnding Story. <laughs> a drone. A drone? Yeah, but I want to be there. I just fly and bomb people. Uh, Smart. So you'd be back. I didn't heard that one. Yeah, I'm not gonna. So King David played the harp. And I consider him as a musician. He was known for that. I would have loved to have gotten tacos with David from yeah. the Bible. Uh, oh. Oh, Larry David. I like that. Does he count as a musician? I'm sure he's played music before. <laughs> Carlos Santana. <laughs> Is that real? I want to punch him in the face for writing Smooth with Rob <laughs> Thomas. I couldn't escape that song in the summer of 2000. 